yo, yo, what's going down, everybody? Pay Lee here again, back with another episode of Not For The Week. I know I've been out and about for a minute. Don't mind the waters in the background. Um, I have a fucked up haircut that I gave myself all around because I'm trying to, I tried to self-cut my hair because I am trying to get into barber school. Yeah, so that's um, why I wanted to do this episode and kind of why I've been out and about for a minute. I've been trying to figure out a lot of shit. I'm still trying to, um, Ah, sorry. I've been working on the album and shit that has been prolonged forever. Um, I'm working on a movie. I'm a part of a movie, uh, BLC, directed by Jerry J. Dog. Make sure you go um, watch that whenever it does come out sometime this year. But yeah, man, I've been a little busy. I don't know if I should be looking right here or right here. I'm looking right here. If I look cockeyed, then whatever. No offense to anybody else that looks cockeyed. My nails are kind of fucked up too. I'm trying to do that as well. I tried to do it a little more different this time, but it didn't really work out. But yeah, anyways, I'm trying to become a barber, y'all. That is um, one of the other trades or skills I'm trying to add to the arsenal as of right now so i try to cut my own hair as you see it is terribly blended terribly cut the lineup is all oh my goodness but uh, i'm not really worried about it because it's all part of the journey man you got to start from somewhere and i just take this as a laughable moment a learning moment teachable moment and um, i'm gonna look back six months from now and be like man see Look where you were, look where you are now. But yeah, um, I have a Zoom call with the school at 10. That's why I have the shower running. So I can get in the shower and look somewhat presentable, even though my hair cuts all fucked up. And yeah, man, um, I'll let you guys know what exactly happens after that. Am I in there? Am I not in there? Am I, I going to have to sit this? semester or program out we will see spread love be love stay so fresh and so clean I'll let you guys know um, what little gadgets, gadgets I bought prior if I do get enrolled into the school they give you a kit and all that but I'm going to just show you what I'm going to use outside of the school so I almost forgot that today is um, Thursday, August 29th. When I do these videos and I do these vlogs, a journey, you know, vlog my journey, um, I want to be telling you guys the dates and things of that nature just so you can kind of see the times of what's happening. I want you guys to see today and then I want you guys to see um a month from now two months from now whenever i start whatever and then so on and so forth so i want you guys to see the journey and the progression as i grow i want you guys to grow with me sound fair enough so um it's like 9 35 right now uh i have to wait roughly 25 minutes maybe more maybe less um the appointment is at 10 but like i said i don't really know it could be exact time or whatever but after the call i will let you guys know how it went oh i just smacked the hell out of my camera fight Stand. i will let you guys know how it went like i said before i will show you guys the gadgets gadgets i will show you the clippers i have the trimmers and all the little accessories i have as of right now do i have everything under the sun no Cause I don't even know what I really need everything. I don't know everything I need, but I got pretty much the basics. Like if I needed to give a haircut today, uh, I think for the, yeah, I think for the most part I'd be able to. I 
So I actually wanted to stop myself there for a second because I said I could give a haircut that day if I needed, but how in the f am I gonna give a haircut with no experience at all? What the f am I talking about, y'all? I just have to stop myself right there, rewatching this over, and say that uh, don't let me miss the jaw to give me yourselves a bad haircut, okay? I am a beginner, just like yeah. Let's get back into it. Whether it be rapping or making movies, I don't want to put myself in a box. Now, with that being said, though, I don't want to do too much. You know what I mean? I don't want to be a person that has a little bit of knowledge of everything, but a master of nothing. I feel like with anything, once you kind of get the fundamentals down, the basics, then you can just progressively build. You can't really get worse. You can only just kind of build from there. That's how I take it with, you know, anything with life. Rapping, I've been doing that for a minute, though. So it's not like I'm just giving it up i'm not giving up rap at all still gonna make music um as far as the movie uh, i'm still gonna be doing that it's my first movie so either way i'm gonna take my time with it you know nipple right there you know and i am sorry it does not come with a kit either way i'm gonna take my time with it you know i'm not trying to rush it with the music too uh none of this is rushed that's why i'm able to try to master these things because I'm taking my time and doing it slowly, but surely. Like I said, I'm not trying to do a million things, man. Rapping, movies, cutting hair. I do still do interviews. I still, um, I can still shoot you a video if you need one. And I can still give you a photo shoot if you need one. But I feel like all that kind of just is in the realm of music. So music, cutting hair, and I forgot already what I said, the third move. But yeah, I wanted to come on here also and say, don't be afraid to jump out and do something new. I have, till this day, I still have never cut somebody's hair. Only mine, and you see the, out, the outlook of that is terrible. I started off with a full head of hair, and then now it's just looking chippy, chappy. I'll turn my head around, oh Lord. You guys can see the back is not looking good at all either, but I'm not afraid to show y'all because like I said, all this is a journey, bro. It's a journey. So don't be scared, man. It's a journey, bro. You're gonna run into some bumps. You're gonna mess up. And the reason why I have this attitude is because I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos out there of other barbers and they just say the same thing. Don't be afraid. You're gonna make mistakes. And that's just with anything. Sirens in the back. But that's for anything, man. You gotta have mistakes. There's gonna be shit that doesn't always go right, but you just gotta move forward. Shout out to Hello Kitty that's in the back. <laughs> Random. Yeah. But yeah, man, keep pushing forward. Don't be afraid to take that leap of faith because you never know what's on the other side of that fence. With that being said, we are not officially out, but until I get this phone call over with, I'll see you guys in like, an hour, maybe two hours, I'm not on the tour. And all that is, oh yeah, it is a virtual tour. I don't know if I said that in the, in the beginning of the video, but it is a virtual tour of the school. And they talk to you, you know, what interests you, what programs you wanna be in, blah, 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 blah. Let you know about the financial aid, this and this and this and this. They let you know everything about the school. So I'm gonna find that out in about probably 20 minutes now 10 15 minutes now um yeah so I'll let you guys know how that goes see you guys okay just a quick update for everybody today is september 2nd monday happy labor day and all that good stuff i'm gonna keep this short quick um i did get accepted into the barber school I'm not going to reveal the school just yet. But yeah, I took the steps into enrolling and doing what I have to do. I talked to the financial aid people or whatever you want to call them tomorrow in the morning. So we'll see how that goes, how much you're going to put down, how much I'm going to have to pay and all that good stuff.
happens tomorrow. We are in there, and the journey has officially started, y'all. Um, four weeks away from today, exactly four weeks away. We're getting closer. It's getting more real. It's getting more serious. I don't know what to expect, but there goes nothing. All right, everybody. So this is my first time doing a voiceover. Hopefully you guys like it. This is my little Honeywell safe box. It is originally a safe, but I'm going to use it for my clippers that I happen to be grabbing right now. In the back, it is blurred out because I have um, as you can see, I'm kind of just unraveling it. Easy style and it's clippers. Um, I can't really explain too much about it. I don't really know really much. There's a lever right there. You can open and close, switching your positions. Um, pretty light, not too heavy. It is a cord clipper though. Bringing it back OG style and all that. But it is what it is. Um, next up. We got my husky little bag. Shout out to my homie that gave me that bag. Yes, sir. And in that bag, um, I believe I just have some trimmers. Yep, some trimmers. Wall cordless little baby trimmers. Not too bad. Have a little blade cover on there. Just myself little ordered off switch it does come with one battery and it doesn't last for too long so if you do happen to get these I would recommend getting a pack of batteries or a couple whatever you prefer next we have wait let's see let's see shout out to the bad haircut I gave myself as well <laughs> um if you guys want to follow me on my journey, I am Paidly Zero on TikTok, Paidly on Instagram, and Paidly on YouTube. Here we have our wall, little box, little storage box, whatever you want to call it. But I keep my other clippers, guards, blade oil, combs, and I think that's pretty much it. That's in there. Oh yeah, scissors or shears is in there as well. Let's see what we're working with. Let's see what we're working with. Mind you, none of the stuff I have is expensive. I'm working on a budget right now until I am growing and kind of figure out what exactly I need point for point. So here we have our wall clippers. A little yellow and gray. Shout out to wall. I heard they're like the best brand to use. Well, one of the best brands to use. So that's kind of why I'm going with the walls. Um, I did buy the clippers and the wall and the trimmers separately and then I saw a box that was together I was like wow I could have just bought them together but this one has a lever as well open and close switch to halfway three fourths of your lever up and down for the switch the on and off switch um, I actually like these I like how they feel this is what I use to kind of test out my hair like I said, I'm not the best barber in the world, as you see. Um, but it's all part of the journey. A pick, Afro pick is Mando Tori. For all your people out there with afros and, you know, kind of coarse hair, you need a pick, man. Come on now, brother. Conair Men, two in one compact styler. It comes with the little brush and the comb. Right here, we got the precision trimmer blade. Ben Sherman, um, pretty good. I like the look of it. It has like a kind of cool style. Got the shears and the comb, as I was explaining earlier. That's me just trying to get the hand motion down. Cause how barbers be holding the shears and the comb together in one hand, I'm like, that's crazy. Um, I got the little pin pin the hair back to part the hair obviously it's not for the beard but you know i'm just showing you this for the hair here we got our blade oil put it on me for every use is what they say uh, my a-zone trimmer clippers it says trimmers um i actually use them for 
clippers because of how big the blade is and how big kind of the clipper is. I don't know if you guys, if I'm wrong, just tell me. Um, this one has a lever as well. I forgot to mention that. On and on switch, pretty light. That one has a cord as well. We have our brush, as I said earlier, our mini combs, mini brushes that I just try to keep in handy. You don't want to clunk up too much hair in one brush and one comb at a time. Revlon blow dryer. Um, I use this. Actually, I haven't used it, but I did test it out. Blows pretty good. Pause. And yeah little starter kit for now you know i'm on my way i don't have everything but it's a little cool start to do a basic haircut from the crib razor you know what i mean i have a pack of those actually i don't have just that one i would not ever suggest using just one razor <laughs> and we got our gauge pads aka our little i use them as like cotton swab cotton balls whatever Here, this is just everything put together in a little basket. So I, you know, have it somewhat organized. Um, the stuff in the back right there is what you see. So I'll explain right here right now. We got the aftershave lotion. Now I do have it written all ugly and stuff like that because I don't want to be copyrighted. So therefore I had to take the brand off and kind of put my own writing on it. As well as these other things like here. We got our rubbing alcohol. The words are starting to smear. That's why you know, I made that face. But yeah. Again, I don't want to get copyrighted anyway. So I just take the brands off. And put them in my own bottles. I'm going to um, have way more spray bottles and things of that nature. But just kind of for the sake of beginning and getting started. I wanted to um, kind of just have it like that. Or whatever the case may be. But have a um, many supplies of everything just so you know be prepared in the future or whatever the case may be like i said none of this stuff is very expensive at all literally just put water and a spray bottle right there h2o just so i know um, what it is and i'm not mixing things around and i'm mistaking the water for the alcohol or whatever face mask just in case you know somebody might be a little sick or i may be a little sick or whatever the case may be and they feel comfortable with a mask um here i'm covering up the brand again but this is some shave cream that i bought as well coconut cream it has a nice little smell to it uh right before i use the razor and the edges up and the edges up edge up and yeah this is my little basket I don't have everything in there. Obviously, I can't fit everything in a little basket. But this is just until I get my stuff. So as you guys saw in that last video or voiceover that I just did, that none of the stuff I got is very expensive at all. Um, I wasn't trying to get the most expensive thing right off the market, and I don't know what I'm doing. You can have the most expensive, most fancy things in the world, but you don't have the skill, the technique and the knowledge to actually execute the haircut, then I feel like none of that fancy, smancy stuff actually matters. So that's why I wanted to just kind of kick it off with the basics, go on a budget, get the hand motions down, get the um, knowledge of the guards and how to work it and how to cut, how much you're off here, there. You know, I'm just trying to get in the motion of things before I just go crazy and just spend every single dollar i have doing this you know what i mean um and that's what school's for as well like when i part of my tuition is paying for the kit that they give you a whole kit i saw the kit um it's actually a pretty good kit it comes with everything under the sun that you need so for me to go out of my way and get even more stuff like a whole nother kit like would kind of be crazy not really it is good to have you know more supplies i burned myself i am not a cutter by the way not trying to offend nobody but this is a a burn but yeah um 
I just want to tell everybody out there, just go for it. You know what I mean? Um, right now, I'm like, man, it's getting real. I have a lot of things going on in my mind. Can I do this? Will I even be a good barber? You get all the doubts and insecurities. And that's me right now. And this moment in this time, I'm confident that I'll do good because I, you know, I can adapt to my environment and I'm a pretty quick learner, but it's just a whole other world. I've never done this and it is scary taking that leap of faith, but you guys gotta be with me on this journey and we got this together, y'all. And this is Paid Lee, now you guys know once you see me a month from now, I am officially going to be a student of the game, the barber game. This is the very beginning, y'all, before the beginning of the beginning. And I'm glad you guys are here with me. Love you guys. Peace. <laughs>